This is the Pro Audio Suite Podcast. Quick Bites. Welcome to another Pro Audio Suite Quick Bite. This week, we're answering a question that came in from Bill A. Um, the reason we're calling him Bill A is not privacy, just like... I don't know how to pronounce his last name. So anyway, it was in reference to our headphone episode and we talked about hearing loss uh, and he sent us a question. Now he says, I took a hearing science class once and learned that brief loud sounds damage your hearing more than sustained ones do. I can't remember the psychological term, but the ear has a sort of pad in it that protects it when exposed to long duration noise. Brief sounds like a gunshot on the other hand, can damage your hearing because the ear is caught off guard. I would guess the same is true for percussive sounds, like the guys with their five-gallon drums, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, I have a thing for those guys. He said, uh, I wonder if there's any, any of your listeners could verify this. Thanks, loving your show. And I guess, um, I, I think that what I remember a lot is that a lot of hearing loss is also hinged on the duration or how long you're exposed to certain loud level sounds. I would, I think it's sort of like the question with voltage, like what kills you, the voltage or the amperage? And the answer is yes. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's like what kills you, the loud sound or the length of time with the loud sound? And it, they both contribute. Um, but I would imagine that, you know, he is correct that, if your ear is off guard, it will let that really loud gunshot through, do its damage. But if you ever remember being at a concert without earplugs and you leave the concert and then you're still talking to your friends really loudly, that's because your your threshold of hearing has been raised up because you're in that loud environment and it takes a few minutes for your ears to adjust back down. Um, so there is some truth to that too, but I think it's it's still kind of falls into that answer is yes category. But of course, protecting our hearing is important because um, whichever side of the glass you're on, you still want to be able to hear what you're doing or what you're recording. Yeah, I mean that's why I got those earplugs made. Actually, was, I, I like I like to use those at concerts, and then I had those. We talked about those those sleeves made where you can fit your uh, your little headphones into them, and I like them a lot. I have a, you know, actually I have a, I have a friend that, who um, set me up with those and. She's a, a hearing expert, a, a doctor, I believe. We should uh, we should mm. we should invite her onto the show. We should get her on to chat about that. Absolutely, definitely. The uh, here's, here's an interesting one though. I took a generation gap. I took my two two eldest sons to ACDC when they were last out here a couple of years ago, and uh, I bought went to the to the drugstore and bought them some earplugs before we went. And they were scoffing me on the way out there and the, you know, going, why do we need these, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, trust me, just, you know, put them on and, and you'll see. So a couple of songs into the concert, I turned to them and I said, okay, take them out. <laughs> and I think the band was playing a whole lot of Rosie or something <laughs> equally raucous at the time. And I and they took them out and they were out for like 30 seconds and they pretended to be enjoying it going and then shoved them back in again. <laughs> yes, exactly. It was very funny. Your your 40-year-old self will thank your 20-year-old self when you wear those. Yeah, that's clothes. right. Exactly. So, yeah. But um, you're right. You, you walk out of concerts and your ears ring and, and you, you're sort of, you're right. You do speak with an elevated volume for a fair while. My ears have stopped ringing. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's when you know you've gone full circle and fixed the problem. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately for Andrew, he's every second word of his is what? What? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing left That's to damage. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well, we should try and get this friend of yours on, Robert. Sounds like Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll reach out. I, I think that'd be a fun show. See, here's, here's something interesting, right? The, one of the signs of hearing loss is difficulty understanding words, especially against background noise or in a crowd. But since my youngest years, I remember struggling to hear with background noise and in a crowd. And obviously I've had my hearing tested over the years and there's nothing wrong with it. But I struggle, like, I hate nightclubs because I can never have a conversation over the background noise. Yeah, so like actually this doctor knows about this stuff. There's... There's a type of hearing loss which is like about your brain's inability to sort of zero in on a sound. And other people are good at basically having like RX noise built into their head. Yeah. And they can filter out. And other people have more trouble fi filtering out masking sounds. That occurred to me too. But then I can drill down in a mix and hear what I want to hear. 
So why can't I do that? Yeah, in I know. Club it's, or something? That's it, weird. It's, it's interesting. I, I I have the same issue, and I I don't know why that is, but I I sometimes have trouble like dealing with crowds and overly masked sounds. But um, here's something else. Going going back to our uh, our person's question, according to Wikipedia. The ear can be exposed to short periods of sounds in excess of 120 decibels without permanent harm, with discomfort, and possibly pain. But long-term exposure sound levels of over 85 decibels can cause permanent hearing loss. So that would actually indicate that he is wrong. I've got an interesting list here. This is the Mayo Clinic. So sound level in decibels, 90 decibels, the daily duration you should be allowed to be exposed to is eight hours, 115 decibels, 15 minutes or less, 110, 30 minutes, 105 an hour, 102, one and a half hours, 100, two hours, and so it goes. Right. So it's definitely very time-related. I, I think your, ear, your ear's compressor has an extremely fast attack time. Yeah. It, it can catch those super fast sounds, it, it would appear. I mean, short duration of up to 120 decibels without permanent hearing loss. I believe a jet is like 110 decibels. Where would your I studio mean, yeah. sit roughly, Robert? <laughs> My studio when, when in terms normal, of noise? Normal, <laughs> normal monitoring, what do you reckon? Oh, um, I, I think uh, 75 to 80 decibels is normal control room monitoring. 85, well, actually, here you go. 85, they say, is heavy city, city traffic and school cafeteria is about 85 decibels. Yeah, I know that films you mix, like film, films you mix to 85 or 80 decibels LEQ. But I, I would say one other thing to this person, which is, you know, if you hear your ears ring, that is basically indicative of hearing damage. Mm-hmm. Either happened in the past, or if it's a new ring, it's likely new hearing loss. Well, there you go. Now we know a bit about our hearing loss. Sorry, what was that? Huh? What was that? <laughs> Hello? What was that? Is this thing working? I can't hear you, laddie. I can't Hello. hear you. <laughs> like, 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 here's the joke. Um, the uh, this old lady goes into the doctor and she says, "Like, doctor, I got a problem. <clears throat> yeah, I fart, but there's no sound and there's no smell, and it just doesn't seem right." And uh, the doctor gives her two pills and says, "Take these and uh, come back in a week." She comes back and she's like, wonderful, those pills totally helped. I, 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 I now smell them, yes, that's good, but I still can't hear them so, so much. And he says, okay, good, we've fixed your smell, now we need to look at your hearing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nice. There you go. Uh, classic. On that note. <laughs> on that unsavory right. note. <laughs> Let's go. <get it. laughs> this show was mixed by Voodoo Sound. Edit by Andrew Peters using Source Connect Now and Rode Microphones with technical support from George the Tech Whittem. Don't forget to subscribe and like us. Yeah.